back. Welcome back to Tasmania and the Overland Track. It's now day two. Day one yesterday was a really interesting day. The weather was beautiful. A little bit warm for my uh, UK fair skin, but uh, nonetheless, it was a really amazing day. A nice challenge, not too strenuous, but a nice way to uh, get bedded in on the trek. So this morning, I think I woke up around about six and we just had a slow start this morning until the rain arrived and it was really time to get the tents packed away. Barn Bluff in the background there, we've had rain coming in, we've had lightning, thunder, the whole lot, but it's really good. So today is a relatively short day. This little guy keeps running through the camp, can you hear him? <laughs> keeps chasing everyone. He was pecking my legs earlier on. Anyway, it's only a short day today down to Windermere Hut, but it's going to be a not, well, a really good day with spectacular views nonetheless. Let's do it. So we've been sheltering in this small hut here. Um, the main hut is just over there and there's the toilet at the back. There is another toilet just around the corner here, but we've been utilizing the rainwater tank It's just been filled up a little bit more with the rains that we had this morning, but it's a really nice setup and we were pitched just in front there. Looking good, James. <laughs> Alright, it's time to head out into the rain. And this guy's watching us. Let's do this. We come just down there, zooming out, Barn Bluff, Waterfall Valley Hut, toilet, and just around there, helipad, which I'm pleased to say none of us needed on this one. Let's do it. It's beautiful through here. It's amazing how much um, variation in vegetation there is. Um, it's amazing that it can form naturally. So here we are down at Lake Wills, a nice little side trail. Dave Hayden and I have decided to have a wander down for lunch. My dad and James have carried on to the uh, Windermere Hut, I do believe. But it's a beautiful spot. Be nice for a swim if it was a little bit warmer, perhaps. Lunchtime. And we're back on the main trail now. Here's the bag drop. And we're heading this direction.
So here we are at Lake Windermere, similar to the one in the UK in the Lake District. I think I prefer this one. So we're about half a kilometre away from the hut now, which is tonight's stop. It's a very, very short day, but I think we're going to take the time to relax and soak in the environment. Could even be time for a swim. So this is the Windermere hut. Much better if it's got some bok choy and some Time to find a place to pitch. I think this one will do. Nice views, just there perhaps. Right, so these little um, platforms have got hooks and uh, holes for tent pegs and stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see if I can pitch the um, hex peak somewhere here. Let's give it a whirl. So, I've managed to set the tent up okay. It is quite a big footprint, so I've had to improvise a little bit. And there's multiple flies on the lens. <sighs> Be gone. Right, one thing I did notice as well watching other people's YouTube videos is no one really focuses on the pegging points on the platforms here. So I'll show you around quickly. So here we are, this is my Lux Hex Peak. And uh, as you can imagine, hexagonal, so we're hanging off the edge just a little bit, so I have had to improvise with that one there. But um, there are multiple nails along the uh, sides. Also these little chains here. I've used one of those on that point, so there's now a trip wire there. But hopefully no one will be coming down this way anyway because there's no path. But I'm not sure what the answer is, to be honest. If you've got like a conventional sized uh, tent, here's my... Uh, father's tent here. I think he's managed better than I have because this seems to be pegging out points in the right places here. So his is just about right, whereas mine is hanging off a wee bit. But I think you can get it done. You can get it done easily enough. Um, hopefully it was okay for me to um, add the little peg at the front there. I had to do that. There was, or there is, um, like I say, some nails just underneath there, but I have had to uh, use that because it's not quite large enough. And I think it should be tight enough to be able to stand up on its own. There's the inner. Bear with me one second. There we are. So plenty of nice solid dry uh, space here to keep my kit later on because I think I'll keep my food bags in the in the hut up there but my kit I'll keep out here. One of the warnings on the sign inside is beware of the black possum uh, so I'll keep an eye and an ear out for that tonight. Okay time to relax. Okay so we're heading down for a swim Hayden's here, Dave's here, my dad's here, Adrian's here as well, uh, another guy that we met last night at the first camp place. Um, he's over from Singapore. I'll get everyone on video later on. I didn't bring the GoPro, but I do have my uh, iPhone in an aqua pack, so I might jump in with that. Right, we're here. I'm gonna take the aqua pack in and just go for it, I think.
We're in. Oh. It's very cold. But I've, I've pierced through the pain barrier. I thought it was time to do some laundry. So it was pretty cold. But I do feel a thousand times better now after that. I was just saying, when me and Hayden, or Hayden and I, were on Cradle Mountain, the downdraft from the helicopter, it blew dust everywhere. Dust and small stones. So I got it all in my ears, my hair and everything. So it's nice to have a wash. I think we're in for a rough night, people. Okay, so today was a really good day. It's only been a short day, but we've had a good time here in the, uh, in the hut tonight. It's been good, we've been playing cards and just chatting and stuff, it's been good. But, as you may just have seen, we've got a, quite a big lightning storm at the minute. I'm in the tent. The trusty Lux Hex Peak, and hopefully, if I don't talk to you again tonight, I've not had to run out into the hut, but I might try and sleep now, hopefully if I can. Right, I'll see you again tomorrow. As always, I'll put all the info on screen and links to the maps and stuff in the description. Bye for now. <laughs>